Good evening, Gloria Kalesh with ABC News. After a week when Tony Abbott has dominated the headlines, an explosive new book has now raised fresh questions about his relationship with his chief of staff. The book, written by a former senior adviser to the government, has revealed a Liberal senator confronted the former Prime Minister about rumours he was having an affair with Peter Credlin. Mr Abbott has refused to comment on the claim, but both he and Ms Credlin have denied the rumour. His political reporter, Eliza Barello. Rumours of affairs are commonplace in politics, but rarely do they get written about. Will you confirm or deny whether you were having an affair with Peter Credlin? Breaking with convention, political commentator and former Liberal staffer Nikki Sava has published an account of the night Tony Abbott was confronted about the nature of his relationship with his Chief of Staff. On the eve of the spill motion moved against him last February, New South Wales Senator Conchetta Firavanti wells told Mr Abbott to sack Peter Credlin or the party would sack him. Politics is about perceptions, she warned him. Rightly or wrongly, the perception is that you are sleeping with your chief of staff. That's the perception and you need to deal with it. Mr Abbott certainly didn't want to deal with it when he flew into Sydney Airport this morning. I really don't want to rake over old coals. I know some people do want to rake over old coals. But I don't. The men who eventually removed him from office were keeping mum too. Oh, look, I'll leave that for others to comment on today. I'm sure there'll be plenty of others writing about those things. Prime Minister, do you think that there are rumours true by Mr Abbott? How do you do? Great to see you. Hi, Tommy. Senator Firavanti Wells made a brief statement confirming she's been quoted accurately. I had a conversation with Tony and I had a conversation with Peter Credlin. I put certain comments on the record and as quoted, uh, they are correct. The senator is quoted as saying both Mr Abbott and Ms Credlin denied the rumour they were having an affair. When she discussed it with Peter Credlin and told her to go, the senator recalled her saying he wouldn't be able to do his job without her. <laughs> The book also claims the now Deputy Prime Minister Barnaby Joyce warned Mr Abbott he was about to be rolled a month before it happened and that the Immigration Minister Peter Dutton and former Prime Minister John Howard both urged Mr Abbott to sack Joe Hockey and make Mr Turnbull Treasurer. Rumour aside, many of Tony Abbott's colleagues had an intense dislike of Ms Credlin and what they saw as her control over every facet of government. Mr Abbott's refusal to sacrifice her infuriated them and, as Connie Firavanti-Wells predicted, eventually led to his downfall. Eliza Borello, ABC News, Canberra.